I'm coming to you live, like first thing in the morning. I thought it would be fun if I took you guys along with me for like a week in my life type of thing. It'd be really fun to just show you guys a typical, well, not even a typical week in my life, but just like a week in my life where I show you guys like where I like to shop, um, things I do for work, like for TikTok and other little bits and fun things that I do along the way. First matter of business for me right now, today, on this Tuesday, is to get my hair and makeup in order. Hi! So, I finished my makeup and now we are going to get into the hair. I already showed you guys how I do like my updo and stuff, but I figured I would show you how I do my bangs and how I get my hair from this to like a more like sleek, manageable thing. I mean, I don't mind this hair texture. I mean, the sort of frizzy, like wavy, curly sort of thing. It gives me like mermaid beach vibes. But today I want to have my bangs down. I want to look sane. <laughs> and I just want to get my hair a little bit more under control for the rest of the week. I find that the best results come when I wet my bangs, so I'm just going to go do that quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my bangs are sufficiently wet and I look like a crazy person, <laughs> take the hair that I have... Like, I'm going to now dry it in like this motion. You'll see. which like I think is actually okay. I brush them out. If you want bangs, definitely be prepared for weird hair days and a lot of high maintenance because bangs are definitely very finicky. They have a mind of their own, at least mine do. I'm actually liking how my bangs are looking right now. I like a wispy sort of Look in the front with more on the side, obviously framing my face. My hair tends to get really frizzy like when I sleep or if it's just, um, you know, if it's just a, been a really rainy day or a humid day. I live in an area that tends to get kind of humid during the summer. My hair definitely gets frizzy and it's totally fine. Like I can definitely, you know, get down with the frizzy look, but sometimes I just want something that's a little bit more sleek. Something that I've really been enjoying recently is this Gizu, Gizu it's Gizu, right? Or Gizu? I don't know. Um, it's this hair oil. And I like to maintain the natural texture of my hair. I like the sort of wave that I have. Scrunch the ends like this and just go like this a little bit. I do that and then in the morning I blow them out. Like I take them down and I blow them out. But some days I'm lucky and they just fall down on their own and they look great. Other days, I could blow dry and blow dry and blow dry and they still don't look right. They're just like... So, it's definitely a journey with the bangs, but we love them. We love them. I love them. Like, you know that famous Coco Chanel quote where she said, when a woman cuts her hair, she's about to change her life? That was definitely true for me. Like, I cut my bangs and I got more to TikTok and I just started to be more expressive with myself and be more experimental online and just more me and it definitely did change my life so I love these bangs these bangs have been on this journey with me and I really love them even though they can be really annoying I'm gonna have another sip of my tea because it's still the morning it's still the a.m. what is it it's 11 35 on the agenda for today I have to take pictures of things for Depop which should go by pretty quickly an amazing thing happened to me today just like a pinch me moment. Harper's Bazaar included me in one of their like virtual article things as one of the it girls for TikTok. Like, excuse me, that is amazing. I am over the moon with happiness. Like, Harper's Bazaar has, you know, it just has my heart. I love Harper's Bazaar. I met the head stylist for Harper's Bazaar on the train when I was going to New York for school about like four years ago, or was it three years ago? Three or four years ago now it was. And she was so nice. I feel like that was just a sign from, I don't know if you want to say God or fate or whatever is like around us. 
but I met her and that was really cool. And now I was featured in Harper's Bazaar. Like, oh my You're God. So, so I was included with all these other girls, which is so sweet. Like, I love Nava Rose. I follow her, I love her content. She's so amazing. There I am, guys. A TikTok it girl. As said by Harper's Bazaar, I am just floored. I can't believe it. It's just so crazy to see that. Um, a girl from my school actually told me about it and told me to go look at it because I don't, I, I probably never would have seen it if she hadn't told me. So thank you, Victoria, for telling me about it. It's definitely like the highlight of my morning so far. Um, other than talking with you guys, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and I'm really happy about that. So let's get into the Depop picture taking time. <laughs> you guys can get a sneak peek into what products will be on there and if you want to go buy them. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. This is just my little outfit of the day. My hair, okay, usually the oil is amazing but the, the humidity today is just really out of whack and so my hair is like puffing up but I don't really mind, it's okay. This is the dress. I'm obsessed with this dress from Zara. Pink seashell purse that can be like a little handheld or a crossbody. I really like a crossbody, it's like more casual. From the store Lulu Guinness, I found it online. I am just obsessed, I think I have to wear this. Guys, like how cute, how cute. I love it, I love it so much. <laughs> bought it and then they brought it here because <laughs> I totally donated that. I, I know this dress. Hi darlings, good morning. It is Wednesday now. I wasn't able to film the rest of yesterday just because when I got home my camera battery died and then I had dinner and then I went out quickly with my mom at night and then I just went to bed because I was so tired. But trust me, you guys didn't miss much. As you guys saw, we went to the thrift yesterday, which was fun. I love going to the thrift with my mom. My mom is like a goddess when it comes to thrifting, so going with her is just a dream. But uh, there really wasn't much there. I got one necklace. My mom and I both got a necklace. Uh, and this one I found, well actually my mom found it. It has two suns and a moon on it, and I have like a special like thing, or it's like a theme for me, suns and moons. It's hard to explain, but it's a thing for me. And uh, yeah, I just really love this little piece, and it's from Saint Tropez. I realized um, like the brand says Saint Tropez on it on the back of it. Um, I hope you guys can see. So yeah, I thought it was really sweet, and I love it. So today, my mom and I have some errands that we need to run. I am wearing this leopard like bodycon dress from Pretty Little Thing. I am obsessed with this dress. I love the style and the cut of it. I think it's super flattering. I feel like every girl really needs a good leopard print dress. It's just like having a white dress or a black dress or even a red dress. A little shoulder bag like this and some little brown belly flats and I'm good to go. Let's get into the day.
Good morning, darlings. I have to run out the door to send out some Depop orders and to run some more errands. Uh, but I want to show you quickly what I'm wearing. I have this For Love and Lemons cardigan that I really love. Vintage mini Marc Jacobs skirt. And then to top it off, I have my little Gucci rubber slides that I have been wearing all summer long. That's the look. I didn't get a chance to film this morning. Um, I woke up pretty late today, which I was not happy about, and then I just ran out and grabbed some matcha. And now, really exciting, I have a little haul that I want to share with you guys from Princess Polly. I'm actually collaborating with Princess Polly for a TikTok video that I'm going to be filming. I wanted to show you guys the things I ordered for the video, as well as like a sneak peek into the behind the scenes of what it's like for me to film and what the video topic is that I came up with for the video. Let's get into it. This is the package. It's quite hefty. I feel very lucky that I am in the position that I am where I can collaborate with companies and brands that I really like and that I know you guys like to shop at as well so that way you guys can see what I am looking for and what I think is cute. And if you see anything that you like, I'll try to link everything in the description box of my video. Uh, yeah, let's get into the haul. Yeah! So our first item here is this little like milkmaid style top. Um, I just think it was really cute and very flattering, like the little ruching here on the bust and the little bow. Alright, this next item I was really excited about because I don't have anything like it and I've been wanting something like this for a long time. So it's this silky sort of satiny um, feeling little wrap skirt in this really nice um, French blue color. It actually matches the top I'm wearing today. <laughs> Love that. I just thought this was really sweet, really cute, and definitely easy to style and wear during the spring and summer months. Okay, the next item we have is this little green. Oh, okay, I remember. At first I was like, what the hell? This very bright lime green wrap style top. I'm feeling green this season. I don't know why. I used to never be a green person. Um, but yeah, I really liked this. A really cute floral print ruched style dress. And again, I thought this was really cute, especially for the video that I'm doing. This is a little red and pink floral mini skirt. And I thought this was also going to be perfect for my video. And I just think it's really cute. To go with that mini skirt, I saw that on Princess Polly they had this little pink halter top styled with it and I thought it looked really cute. Um, even though it doesn't really match the pink exactly like in the skirt or anything, I just thought it looked really cute with it. And I don't have anything like this color or this style and I really love halter tops. Okay, this next item is really cool. I hope to god these fit. I mean, it's always a gamble ordering stuff online if it's gonna fit or not. Uh, but I think these will. So there are these faux leather like baggy style pants um, with like this really nice fitted waist it looks like and I'm so excited with like hello I'm not gonna do a try on haul right now just because you guys will see how everything looks in my TikTok video once I post it hopefully that will be sometime next week um but yeah I'm really excited about these and they're so cool and like they give me really like urban street style vibes and I don't think I like them so I'm really excited about these what I picked up next is this really cool um, sort of ripped knit green top with this sort of diagonal lace-up detail. I thought this was so funky, so cool, and I really love this. Alright, we're down to my second to last item. Here we have a blue floral, like blue, black and white floral mini dress. And I thought this was so sweet. And now for my final item. Okay, this is definitely going to give away what the theme of my video is, if you guys couldn't already guess. It's this oversized Powerpuff Girl t-shirt. So yeah, I'm filming a Powerpuff Girl video. Powerpuff Girls, if they are styled by Princess Polly. And that's actually really cute, Powerpuff Princess Polly. 
I just love the Powerpuff Girls. I watched them when I was little all the time and I always really liked them. Blossom was my favorite because she had the long hair and I had long hair growing up and I still do. That's the haul guys. I'm really excited to film the video. I think I'm going to film it now. I wanted to quickly show you guys what I'm wearing today. Um, I haven't been wearing this for that long and it's like I'm not really going out in this outfit but I still want to show you guys. I have this princess... Um, it's not Princess Polly. I have Princess Polly in my brain. This top is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I really, really love it. I love this French powder blue, sky blue color. It's so pretty with these sheer ruched sleeves and the lace-up detail. It zips in the back so you don't have to lace it up, but um, yeah, I just love this. And I love square neckline. I think square necklines are so underrated. And then I have these flare wide leg, they're not really flare, they're just like wide leg, straight leg jeans from uh, House of CB. I'm not wearing shoes at the moment, but if I were, I'd probably wear like a strappy white sandal. And I'm also wearing my necklace that I got at the thrift the other day, and I think it looks so cute with this. It gives, it's like a medallion type vibe, and I really love it. So this is my setup. I have like a big um, studio light here. Hi guys, I'm gonna get into filming now, and you guys will see you on the other side. darlings happy Saturday I have to rush out the door to run some errands and to also ship out a couple of more Depop items that I sold uh, but I really wanted to show you guys quickly what I'm wearing today I have these little dangle earrings on I don't know if you can really see them um, but yeah I'm wearing these little dangle earrings that I got from the thrift and I have my hair up in space buns and for my outfit I'm just wearing um, this little black crop top from Target this skirt with a high slit in it from the thrift and these little uh, strappy black sandals from Zara and yeah I just really love this outfit I love a monochromatic look it's simple pull together you don't have to worry too much about it you don't have to think too much about it I think for my bag I'm gonna use this um, Prada crossbody although I don't know if I, I don't know if I want it to be a crossbody or a handheld Boy, what do I wear? Do I wear it like this or... Oh, the buns. I don't want to ruin the buns. I think I'm going to do the little handheld today. Here we go with the bag and the hair, everything ready to go. Alright, new candle alert. I really, really love these three. I think they're so cute. I don't remember buying this one, so I think the girl who I bought it from on Etsy uh, just threw it in for free, which is very sweet. It's so cute and tiny. I love it. I thought this candle was going to be pink like this candle, so I'm not really liking how these two are looking together, so I may have to move this guy. I, I'm not really loving this one. I think if I just take that, yeah, so cute. I, I have to put this one somewhere else. I'll put this in my bathroom or something. But yeah, that's the candle situation. I love it. So cute. Hello darlings, it is late now, I finished dinner and I took off my makeup and I took a quick shower and I am exhausted, so I'm going to call it a night, but I will see you darlings tomorrow. Hi darlings, happy Sunday and happy Father's Day and happy first day of summer, it's June 20th. To quickly show you all what I'm wearing today. We have this top that I got in my haul with Princess Polly. I really like it. Skirt is really old, um, free people. And it has cats and flowers on the back. I don't know if you can tell. And it's a midi length, like it goes all the way down. But it has different shades of green in it, which ties in this shade of green. My grandmother always said that you could mix any kind of green or any shade of green and it'll look good. So I'm taking her advice today. 
And yeah, I kind of liked how this was very sort of girly and feminine and frilly, and this is more edgy. And to pair with it, I have my Gucci slides to tie in the pink of the skirt. So that's the look. And for my bag, I am using this pink sort of um, like jelly bag uh, from Furla that I got. I actually got this in Paris when I was 16. This is like a little birthday gift to me. Um, but I thought it would look cute with the slide and sort of tie in the different shades. Like, this outfit is all about different shades of green and different shades of pink because I have this pink, I have this pink, and I have the pink in the skirt that are all kind of different, and then I have all the different shades of green. So I have to go run some errands with my mom and my brother today. We'll see what the day has in store for us. Good morning, darlings. It's Monday. And today, on the agenda, I am going to pack for my trip. I'm going to California to see my boyfriend. I haven't seen him since May, believe it or not, and I really miss him, and I'm really excited to see him. I want to bring you guys along with me, like, on what it's like for me to pack, um, what things I'm bringing, outfits that I'm bringing, um, you know, makeup products, things like that. Today, I'm wearing this pink dress from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I really love it. I think the silhouette is, I mean, it's a little short-waisted for me, like I don't really like this band here, but it's okay. Um, I love the bust detail, I love the little off-shoulder. I think it's really cute. My Gucci little slides again. I know I wear these shoes like all the time, but they seriously are so comfortable. Like, they're definitely worth it. Like, they're worth the investment. They are so comfortable, they go with everything, they're so cute, they're iconic. And they're not like overly flashy or anything like that. For my bag, I'm using my little basket purse. And I just am feeling good, I'm feeling cute. And it's so hot today, so I definitely wanted to wear something that was breezy and light and airy. energy and I am prepared to get into the packing. I already have a few things that I will decide I want to pack. Um, actually, I have a lot of the outfits that I actually wore during this vlog that I'm going to be packing today because I thought they were really cute. I really want to pack mainly like simple, basic items that I can mix and match depending on the weather and the day and how I'm feeling when I'm there. Uh, let me go get my suitcase. Alright, here is the suitcase. I really don't want to check a bag because it's just such a hassle. I'm not going to be gone for too, too long, so I'm hoping I'll be able to just pack most of my clothing in here and then I'm also going to bring this bag as like another carry, like I'm going to bring this as my carry-on, this as my hand, like my purse, and then um, I may have my camera bag with me as well, which I think is okay. I think you're allowed a carry-on, like suitcase, a handbag, and a personal item. I'm pretty sure those are the three things you're allowed to take like on a plane. So I think I'll be okay. I also have some special clothing that I'm bringing with me on the trip to take pictures in for Instagram and things like that. So I need to make room for those things. Um, let's get into it. Okay hey guys, so I have finished packing. So here I have like bikinis and swimsuits that I'm going to bring. So on this side I have, well I'm bringing my Dior shoes for a special photo that I want to do. Um, as well as some special clothing items that I need to take pictures in. And then these are like my everyday types things. Like I have my jeans and some flare pants there. And then these are dresses and skirts. And then I have here, these are all tops. So like I have a couple of like linen tops and some this little funky tank and then just my basic black and white t-shirts. 
And then this is gonna be like my makeup situation. Uh, I'm still using these things, so I'm not gonna pack it up right now. And I have this headband I'm gonna pack. Um, but yeah, these are like my concealers, some blushes, some makeup brushes that I like. Um, and of course like mascara, um, like my Charlotte Tilbury. It's like disgusting. Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes that I really like to use. Hold on, my camera's like not focusing, but you guys know what it is. And then like a little Charlotte Tilbury uh, face powder. And then for skincare, like I'm definitely gonna pack these two things. I have my Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. And then I have this moisturizer that I really love. I actually found this at Target. It's so light and refreshing, especially for the summertime. And it's regular skincare of like, um, like my rosehip oil and uh, just little things here and there. So that is the suitcase, everybody. Okay, darlings, that is it. I'm gonna end the vlog here just because the rest of the day is gonna be pretty boring and tomorrow I'm just gonna be cleaning a lot and then I leave for my trip, so crazy. Thank you so much for watching my video and for joining me on my week in my life. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave a like and tell me what you thought and if you guys really liked it, I'll definitely try to do more vlogs like this. Um, I like doing weekly vlogs because it puts less pressure to film a lot in one day. And I think it gives you guys a better understanding of what my life actually looks like. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. And I hope you guys are happy too. And I love you all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!